الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين وبشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي. Our most respected guests, our beloved chief guest, this is my honor that Allah SWT gave me a chance to meet him in Mecca. I remember that the path I met him in Mojil Abu Bakr, which is located in Bitter Motor. And just two days ago I saw him in GMC. So Alhamdulillah, he is our chief guest today. And uh, also all brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Most of all, I would like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has accepted or who has accepted our prayer. It's a long prayer that three years ago I made the intention to part from us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finally approved my prayer and <coughs> gave me the topic to bring my wife together and this year we part from this house. The feeling is like our other brothers, it is pretty different. Uh, because we, at the beginning, we are a little worried because we, we left to manage children. That, uh, you know, what will happen? If anything happens to them, who will take care of them? But I took a different song also on the other day. Well, uh, we are going to perform Hajj to complete our duty as a Muslim. And uh, we are leaving our children behind. You are the uh, main protector. Sustainer, so we do believe that you will take care of our children even much better than us. Alhamdulillah, they are perfectly okay. Uh, we are three weeks there, and nothing happened to them. They are very, uh, you know, fine physically, mentally, everything. So, you know, I personally saw the miracle in Medina and in Marca. In Medina, uh, we try to maximize our prayer day and night until having or would take very little rest. When I uh, went in uh, Masjid al Nawabi, so Allah, is without going there, nobody can explain their feelings. When I was waiting three hours, four hours to go to the other general, it's, it's, it's different feelings. And after going there, when we were praying, I was, uh, you know, for all the Muslim brothers and sisters in the uh, world, it was, it was pretty different. And I could observe there are millions of birds around the, uh, this holy place. Not a single bird sits on the Muslim Nairobi. This is a, a special miracle. And another miracle I found in Makkah. In Makkah, you know, they said, uh, especially in the summer, it was very hot, temperature size 110, 120 degrees of Fahrenheit. Uh, but by the way, I enter in Makkah, in, in Makkah, the surrounding areas. SubhanAllah, I became like 20 years old. I was just running when I drink power. SubhanAllah. This is, this is really different. And I also, uh, I was remembering when I saw these, these small girls. There are thousands of small birds that continuously moving around the Kaaba. I remember Surah Al Fir, Surah Al Fir, that when Abraham came to destroy Kaaba, and Allah Swt sent a small group of birds that is above you, right? And I saw this when I remember this black bird, small birds, thousands of birds that continuously, you know, they are flying around the Kaaba. Not a single bird sits there. And no other birds enter there. So it seems that the Allah SWT still keep those birds to protect his holy place. So Allah, if you go there, please close the door this. This is another miracle. <coughs> Dear brothers and sisters, I do believe that. Those believe in North America, each and every has the ability to go there. We reserve for every year, we try to save some money to buy a house. This is my humble request. Before you're buying house in this world, you must visit the Allah, Allah's house. That is most important. That is most important because if we buy house, how how long we can stay there? 10 years, 20 years? After that, we have to leave the, this world. That house will not benefit you if you do not visit the house of Allah. So dear brothers and sisters, 
Finally, I just, I just want to remind you about the Rahmah and Barakah of Allah SWT. Look at it, our body. When we are speaking here, there are millions of people in this world. Either they are suffering or they are enjoying their life. This is a special, a special blessing from Allah SWT. That Allah SWT gave us to, to come here, pray about it, and listen from our scholars, from our teachers. Look at our bodies. If we, we lost any kidney, we have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars and we have to year, wait year after year to get a donor. Whereas Allah SWT gave us this more powerful, more important in our body. There is a story that one person he went to hospital and he stayed two months and you know the bill came is about two hundred thousand dollars and he was crying. Doctor said that don't cry, we can reduce the bill. We can reduce the bill. Or there may be a financial system we can help you. He said that I am too rich, I can easily pay this. But I'm not I'm not uh, you know crying for that. I am crying for that that I I am 70 years old. Within 70 years old, I there are so many things I use Allah SWT bless me in my body. But Allah SWT never ever send me a bill. I just stayed two months and you asked to pay to Allah for the Lord. So in this body, Allah SWT gave us a lot of things. Look at this, there are so many people in the world in the world they are suffering. Just a couple of days there was a big tsunami. More than 500 people in Indonesia died. And billions of dollars of uh, property uh, are destroyed. But Allah SWT saved us from these calamities. There are so many people in this world that did not have enough food. Look at that, who just said that 2.5 million people, they went for hot, they did not have any harm in them. We are so blessed. Just remember this. And try to maximize your time for Allah SWT. If we can change at least one person's life in this world, Definitely, that because of that change, Allah SWT will, uh, you know, bless in the, in the head of God, Allah SWT will forgive us, maybe Allah SWT will give us more. So let us work together, let us try to change our life, try to change other people's life. Because there are so many people in this world, around us, they do not pray, they do not have knowledge, they are Muslim, they are calling themselves they are Muslim, but they do not pray. They don't know how to pray, they don't recite the Quran, this is our duty, to convey the message of Allah SWT to them. Let us work together. May Allah SWT give us so big to convey a message of Allah SWT to other people. May Allah SWT give us so big to uh, pray more and uh, uh, so that we can, uh, in this, uh, in the day of we can at least uh, uh, say to Allah SWT, to Allah SWT, we try our level, our level best to, uh, you know, perform uh, the duty you assign to us. May Allah SWT give us so big. Oma, Tawfiq, Ila, Ila, Assalamu Alaikum, Wa Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. ITV, Call of Peace, Save Humanity.